Do you create content to grow your business or to grow your competitor's business? Sounds like an outrageous question, doesn't it? But get your content wrong and you can end up growing the wrong business. Find out more in this week's episode. Welcome to the Content 10X Podcast, the show where content creators learn how to harness the power of content repurposing. And now, your host, Amy Woods. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Content 10X Podcast. I'm your host, Amy Woods, and this week's episode is about having a solid strategy with your content. If I were to ask you when you create and share content, are you growing your business or your competitor's business, you probably think it sounds like an outrageous question, right? Creating content is really, really hard. Why on earth would you do it to build someone else's business? Now, of course, nobody would do this intentionally, but the problem is many people do this completely unintentionally. And this happens when you don't have a clear content strategy. As a byproduct of not having a clear content strategy, people are not taking action as a result of consuming your content. The action as a result of consuming your content that you want them to take would usually result in them becoming a lead and ultimately a customer. If they don't take any action with you, then maybe you have a problem because maybe they are taking action, but it's not with you. It's with a competitor. And to be clear on what I mean by this, you could be creating really, really good content. You create a fantastic video every week that you share on LinkedIn. You have a brilliant podcast that people love to tune into. Maybe you have a Twitter account that lots and lots of people look forward to your next tweet, or perhaps people hang on every single Insta story that you post. Now, this is all fantastic. You're really, really good at raising awareness of your industry or your niche and of a problem that exists in your industry. But that's exactly what you do. You raise awareness. You make people think that's exactly how I feel or that is exactly the problem that I have. How did you know? But it's not clear exactly what you do and how you can help them. The next step isn't so obvious. So all of that awareness that you've created only causes them to seek out the person or business who can help them and bam, your content led them into the arms of your competitor. Now, did you know there are so many businesses that actually thrive out of this situation that when they ask, how did you find out about us? People will say, I did a Google search after reading an article, watching a video, seeing a social media post about said problem, and I found you. And it sounds quite demotivating to hear this, right? Creating content and repurposing content, it can be really, really exhausting. You need to be consistent. You need to focus on quality. You need to make sure that you are creating and publishing and promoting content too. And I went into a lot of detail on all of these factors in podcast episode 151. Now, you don't want to go through all of that to find that you are not set up to achieve an ROI on your content. Raising awareness but just leaving it there is not a situation that you want to be in. So just step back and think to yourself, could this be happening to me? And don't be embarrassed if the answer is yes, because it happens to a lot of us, certainly me included. So what can you do to help prevent this from happening? And remember, this is what you can do to make sure that your content doesn't grow your competitor's business. So it's super, super important. Hey, just a little break from this podcast episode to ask you a question. Would you like one single place that you can go to that provides you with everything you need to be able to implement the best practices in content repurposing for your video content, your podcast episodes, and your social media content today? To help you get more value from the content that you create, get more time back, and help you reach more people than you ever thought possible. If so, then you are going to love the Content 10X Toolkit. The toolkit is full of video tutorials, templates, checklists, swipe files, step-by-step guides, and more that shows you how to repurpose your content in the best ways possible today. No more Googling, no more figuring it out yourself. We provide you with everything that you need to become a content repurposing pro. If this sounds like something that would interest you, then go check out the Content 10X Toolkit at content10x.com forward slash toolkit. Okay, I'm back to this week's episode. 
So luckily there are lots of things that you can do. Now here are five things, and this isn't an option of choose one to five, you have to make sure you're doing them all. So number one, when you decide what content you are going to create, make sure it links directly to a product or service that you provide. So don't create content willy-nilly, but create content that will directly relate to your product and services. In fact, decide on the product or service first, then think about the problems that people have and the outcomes that they want from your product or service and create content that will be useful based on those problems and outcomes. Okay, number two, create value valuable, non-spammy, helpful content, the kind of content that not only will they love themselves, but they'll even share with other people too. And make sure that this content helps them to achieve something. It helps them take some steps on the journey towards solving the problem that ultimately your product or service solves. Number three, make sure that you have a clear call to action within the content that you create, whatever that call to action may be, from downloading a free guide to subscribing to your podcast, to getting in touch, to book a discovery call, whatever seems appropriate for your content that you have created and the product or service that it relates to. And make your calls to action really clear on your website as well and in all of your social media. Okay, next, repurpose into platform specific content and leave breadcrumbs that lead back to your core content like Hansel and Gretel left breadcrumbs that led back to their home. You should repurpose content in such a way that your repurposed content leads people back to your core content. So the calls to action in your social media content may simply be to go on and watch the video or read the blog post. And repurpose content into snackable content and make those snacks very tasty crumbs that make people want more. And then there's being consistent with your message overall and manage what you are known for. Don't have a scattergun approach to who you are and the problem that you solve. Make sure that within your content, you directly address the problems that your customers have and provide useful, valuable content, which all comes back to point number one, create content related to the problems and desired outcomes of the products and services that you provide and stick to this. Don't deviate and don't don't confuse people. So there you go. I hope that was useful for you today. After all, we do not want to be creating content that builds anyone's business other than our own. Please do let me know if you found this useful. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you would like any help with your content repurposing, then we provide an end-to-end -end content repurposing service for video creators and podcasters. Whether you're launching a new show from scratch or whether you already have an existing show, we will take care of everything. So please do get in touch, head to content10x.com. And if you prefer to do it yourself, then don't forget to get a copy of my book, Content 10X. It's available in Kindle, paperback and audiobook. Just head to content10x.com forward slash book or of course head to good old Amazon or Barnes and Noble online. Also please do give me a follow on social media. I'm at content 10 x on all of the platforms or just look for Amy Ward's Content 10X founder on LinkedIn. So all that's left to say is thank you so much for listening to this week's episode and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that discussion and thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoy the Content 10X podcast, then why not hit that subscribe button on your podcast listening app of choice so that you can get updated when new episodes are released. And I'd really, really appreciate it if you could leave a review as well. That really makes a difference for the podcast. Also, please do get a copy of my book, Content 10X, more content, less time, maximum results. It is the ultimate guide to repurposing every type of content and it's available on Amazon in Kindle and paperback and also in audiobook as well and you can head to content10x.com forward slash book to find all the other places that you can get a copy of my book. And if you would like us to do your content repurposing for you, then we offer a fully end-to-end -end 
done for you content repurposing service. This is for podcasters and video content creators. We have our podcast 10x, video 10x, and also our specific LinkedIn 10x service, helping you to become the leading authority in your industry on LinkedIn. You can find out so much more about our services on our website. And also please do give me a follow on the social media platforms. I share lots and lots of tips and advice on social media about content repurposing. I'm at content10x on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And if you try content10x.com forward slash LinkedIn, you'll find my LinkedIn profile over there as well. All that's left to say is thank you so much for listening to this week's episode and I'll catch you in the next one.